So, welcome back everybody to another video of Elite Dangerous. This quite frankly is the game I'm coming back to in my spare time over the, the couple last couple of weeks. Um, I've played a little bit of War Thunder, um, a little bit of Ground Forces, uh, and a little bit of, of Air Combat, but I have to say this is the game that I'm being drawn to most well, in my collection. And I think it's basically this is um, mostly because I really enjoy this kind of game type and this um, space simulator with no given real story but more just a basic frame where you can act out the way you want to. Um, partly this is because of the quite frankly broken state that was under still in. Um, and after the video I did just a few um, weeks ago that showed how um, or gave you a little glimpse into the the first couple of hours of um, Elite Dangerous I want to show you this little bit advanced uh, game I've I have since then um, upgraded my ship and as well as my arsenal so while um, before I was jumping into these um, unidentified signal sources and just taking a quick look around and if there's anything that seems to be dangerous I would jump out immediately now I'm actually jumping in there and looking for a fight and just I would just want to demonstrate this this is basically I just came into the game and and this is the first unidentified signal source I, I have seen so I've immediately stumbled over um, some gold containers which I'm going to proceed now to pick up um, you will see me regularly checking the signal source uh, or the, the, the signals here the, the objects that are present because um, it can happen that um, while you're busy um, picking up the first two or three containers the pirates will jump in and will try to destroy you and if you're not um, able to spot them early on they can sneak up on you and you're in for a nasty surprise so I'll check um, my map or the, the, the sensors uh, regularly as you can see there and now I'm deploying my cargo scoop because I'm quite happy that there's no one around as you can see I still have my multi, uh, multi cans deployed and my first uh, um, pickup attempt actually fails so try again and there we go I'll speed up the following um, few attempts so just to, to show you basically the, um, how I captured this and what this does when, you, when you're picking up this amount of gold containers you're basically picking up about 40k of um, credits which is roughly what you the equivalent of 3 to 4 um, cargo runs easily so this new um, spaceship of mine has uh, 30 um, spaces of, of available cargo so you can do this actually a few times over and once I'm done here as you can see in the fast run through um, I'll jump back in to um, subs uh, this is um, yeah what's it called sub uh, um, sub speed and continue to look around for another source and luckily for me this won't um, take too long I'm forwarding here again a little bit you can see I'm running around here I will probably do another video um, soon just to show you all the gorgeous details of um, Elite Dangerous because there are so many so cool places 
and just vistas that you cannot describe really. You have to see and you have to, to just do one uh, big video of this. Um, so, enough of to enjoying the, the view. I'm actually jumping into another signal source here and there you can see somebody's here. And, oh, it's an eagle. Well, the eagle is a little, very agile fighter, but um, I think he basically didn't expect a, um, quite a powerful ship as mine is um, to come jumping in here, and I think he's now a little bit in trouble. As you can see here, very nice close-up, and we will continue now to or to continue now. And hmm, targeting his cargo hatch, so perhaps he will uh, lose some of his cargo and we can claim it as loot and we pr will now proceed to go kill him. I have basically four multi cannons um, currently fitted onto this um, spaceship. Multi cannons are of course projectile weapons. So, actually firing them is just a little bit uh, reminiscent of War Thunder. Warning. You have to leave your target. But, um, they actually, they, as you can see, they have the um, horizontal alignment. Um, it's done by the computer. As you can see, you can do this actually, you can fire from a good um, distance away. My opponent here has basically um, multi cans and lasers as well. Um, the ship I'm flying is a little bit has a little problem with energy weapons because it's not very energy efficient. So I'm specializing in cans, as you can see. The poor guy is getting pummeled very hard. Only has four points of full hull left, and right as his shields come up again, he explodes because I've destroyed his ship or damaged it critically. So, putting away the auto cannons and going for a jump here. And continue to the next signal source. I'm here in actually in law uh, in lawless space so even if I destroy somebody or attack somebody it, it hasn't got any repercussions. In normal um, secure space you will actually get a bounty placed on your head if you do this but here basically you need to do whatever you want. As you can see here I'm following one of the um, of the other ships that are flying around here and if you look closely you can actually see that the, some of them are called Commander Becker and then followed by a number. These are all real players. If, it, if, if they're not starting out with Commander then they basically are um, com uh, just computer opponents, AI, but if they start with Commander then they're usually a player. And I'm looking around here, it's, if you can see, you know, look closely, you can see there's the trailing line of a, a sidewinder in this case. Which is, uh, probably is here to uh, attack anybody who's coming to the source of, uh, or the help of this um, secret source here, trying to help you. So I'm I will punish him a little bit. And what you will see in this fight basically is that even though this side fighter is actually or shouldn't be as, as, as agile or as fast as the eagle is, it actually puts up a better fight because I um, have a much, much larger turning circle than he has, so he can basically uh, burn away and as you can see here he's already doing his 
deck run while I'm still trying to align my ship with um, with the vector he's playing for some forward so I'm turning around and the mean thing about this this configuration right now is the these aren't actually the most powerful weapons that you can actually fit on this, but they have such so much um, so much alpha damage when they when you all get them to bear on the target that your your target sh uh, the shields will be will crumble in just a matter of seconds. Even if you only have quite a uh, um, small window of opportunity to fire it. Now actually, very near to me. There you could see that his heat um, signature is very high already. Some of my autocans are reloading. I have two of them. The inner ones I have um, bound to the primary fire um, button and this, the secondary fire bu uh, firing button here is basically um, the outer cams. Which is uh, quite nice in this situation because I started firing at different times so even if, when one of the pairs are, is reloading the others are still fi continuing to fire. And now you can actually see he's about to Use the shield here. Target shield. He's a low. He already lost 20% of his health. And you can see this little red si uh, circle around his um, icon of his ship down to the left. Basically represents how fast the shields are reloading. You can see he's trying to jinx a little bit. damage here, but now I'm coming back around. Target shields online. Just in time when his shields are coming back online, but as you can see, he's probably trying to run now. Target shields online. And now he's already, he's hurt bad. This is about the, the time. He already dumped his cargo. But he shouldn't expect any quarter from me. And there he goes. Target destroyed. But we only have some bauxite and some hydrogen fuel. So I'm going to pick this up and there you go. And oops. That happens when you're not careful. You can actually destroy the canisters. And here we go. We're back at the station. Fast forwarded here to until I'm um, near uh, the entrance. And again, I'm, I have to say, I really dig this game because it, it looks so amazing close up. As you can see, I'm looking around here what ki type of other um, starships are around, but they're all inside the station, so I'm going to proceed to uh, request my docking permission any second now. I'm selecting the wrong one. And As you can see, I'm um, coming around here to towards the entrance there. One of the ships is going in, there's another one is going in. So, out oh, number type 6. Now, here we go and you can see there's the entrance. And I'm 
request is granted. Order for docking on at 36, which we'll continue to do. There's 36. Yes, I flew over another pad and this is basically a no big no-go because you're blocking someone else's uh, e exit or entrance vector. And here we go. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. Just to give you a, a very quick look here, um, or like do very quick information. Now I'm go uh, proceeding to the black market to sell um, the things that I have. First I'm stocking up on fuel and ammo. And just to give you a little glimpse um, of what you can expect right now from this game. Um, the other day I had a problem because I bought the wrong ship and there was um, a problem that you, uh, that you couldn't load into the multiplayer while you are um, owning the ship. Um, and I basically was locked out from playing um, the multiplayer part. And But once I um, basically... I've, um, opened a ticket on their support page and using uh, or, uh, and, and uploaded the network uh, log files um, they basically fixed the issue within mere days so I have to say very impressed by the support work and especially if you consider that they're still developing this title at the same time so Sure, they're, they're, they're um, bug fixing stuff, but they're actually now still in the main development cycle. So, I have to say, very impressed with that. Not uh, like other games which shall remain unnamed in this video again, where you think this are broken for a great deal of time. Oh, and um, by the way, um, you may have seen another space game covered in the past on my channel, but I won't um, go back to that for the time being because, quite frankly, I've um, recently upgraded to a, uh, to a Crossfire setup. And while Elite Dangerous has Drive small problems with it, um, there are small um, Four, three, visible two, glitches still. One. Oh, uh, this place, glitches and bugs, um, which are present here. Um, the overall performance is very good and it's all working. Other games are not so good. Um, not only are there is there is the performance um, absolutely subpar, but um, I'm having massive um, graphic uh, bugs here. Oh, by the way, um, very strange thing, I started to, to find only explosives and while I'm still checking if there's no pirates around, I'm very carefully now um, picking them up. They're not as good as an income source as uh, gold containers, but they will do quite nicely. Um, yeah. I, in other games I have massive um, graphic glitches and it's basically unplayable and it, it crashes just after a few seconds and if it doesn't crash it runs at like 20 um, frames per second which uh, on a rig like mine I find absolutely appealing. So I am forced to play Elite Dangerous, yes. I. Know that you all really pity me for that. So, next round of explosives, and you, I think you have to be really, really careful with explosives because I don't want to know what happens when you when you actually uh, hit them with your cargo scoop in the wrong way and they explode. I guess you could actually uh, damage your ship or even destroy your ship severely. So. Done and to Drive on to the next one. Four, and three, two, one. I'll show you just more or 
more or less one more uh, instance. While I'm flying around here. I'm actually I'm very slowly cruising around just this lawless space because um, this unknown signal sources they are basically um, they're randomly generated so you just have to wait a certain uh, time frame and I've found some Colton here so I'm, but I don't think it's it's worth the the hassle of turning around and actually picking up so. I'll just jump um, out right away. Drive charging. What's why? Frame shift is actually Four, online three, again. Two, and here we go. One. So immediately afterwards, I find another unknown signal source, and I'm jumping into that one there. And here we actually have a. We have a Cobra Mark III, so this could be an interesting fight, but um, he's already he's away quite a bit, so I'm closing him on him. pick a fight with me either so it's okay so on to the next one or oh, basically not not onto the next one I will just drive charging look at uh, one more Four, three, two, one. Um, approach to the Freeport station you will see me here I'm jumping back uh, actually but jumping back into the the um, unknown signal source I just exited the, and I didn't get it the first time so I'm back again but still no one here so I'm going back to the station I need to just screw that I'm going home so this is basically the only time um, in Elite Dangerous it, the game is loading you'll see here it took a little bit of uh, time model loaded in and now we'll fast forward through the approaching of the station. Approaching the station and there we go. West granted. So in we go. And we got landing pad number one. That's actually a hauler there. It's uh, my previous craft that you saw in the last video. It's basically a uh, budget transporter. And here we go. And one is over there, so we uh, just have to orientate around and go down. Oh, and. This is basically the Freeport sector, so I'm coming in here to um, access the black market. The black market is only located at certain um, stations outside of any jurisdiction. On normal stations, you, you're, no, you're normally not allowed to fence this, these stolen goods. Docking successful. Oh. Engines disengaged. I could basically spend days just loitering around the, the um, interiors of the stations and looking at all the details that are present here. As you can see, I'm now running on a roughly 
95,000 profit here and I'll pro I will try to um, get some weapons first from I think the random sector which unfortunately doesn't have the, the weapons I want so I'll just show you that and um, probably before I'm doing the next video of, of Elite Dangerous I'll fly around over to, to Chango Dock which is, I think is in the high Buddhist sector and um, I think they have all the weapons that I want actually as you can see here I'm just boosting away from the station and there's the, re the jump point to the Renan sector this actually, which you, um, what you're seeing now, or um, over the sensor overlay, is basically one of the few bugs that I've actually uh, encountered in the game right now. Sometimes when you exit uh, one of the stations, you will uh, get like a flickering uh, remains of the um, dock actually, or the docking UI stuck, which makes it a little bit hard to see what's present on your sensor um, dish or your sensor screen. As you can see here, I'm coming around. I, when you're jumping from one... Oh, this is Esbern City. So, we're basically going to Esbern City. When you're um, jumping from one sector to the other, you're basically always coming in very hard, so to speak. Uh, sorry for the pun. Um, toward, uh, running towards your the sun and you have to more or less immediately um, turn away unless you do want to be forcefully um, taken out of the of this subspace uh, or subs uh, yeah subspace speed. As you can see here, there's Esplanade City, and I'm now actually entering the um, the sector. This is um, the longest I had to wait for. Uh, for one of these um, sectors to load. This is running in real time, so you can see basically it, it just takes about five to, to six seconds um, after you've jumped from a totally different, fully modeled sector to another one and there um, onto, yeah, what, let's call it real space um, and it has to load in all the physical models of the station and of all the players that are present here. And here we go. So, that's the maximum amount of um, loading time I ever had. And I think it's, it's actually pretty good. You can see me here in the background, I'm trying to get a docking clearance. But I'm not actually granted one until now, and here we go. Flying through all the neon advertisement, uh, I don't know, holograms or whatever you want to call them, um, that are present here. So. This is one of the other stations, so I'm basically immediately going here to pad 13 and this is probably where we'll end this video because I'll fly from one station to the next one and upgrade my weapons and I'll probably show you this in a later video uh, um, along with all the beautiful vistas that I hit it out this one uh, this time already um, I hope you enjoyed this yeah half hour half an hour of um, Elite Dangerous for me I personally have to say I, I totally dig this more than any other game currently. Not only because of the graphic fidelity, but also of the possibilities that you have here. And I'll leave you with a final glimpse of the exterior of this wonderful ship here. So, thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.